Born into a newspaper family in Hobart, Oklahoma, Bill Hancock graduated from Hobart High School and earned his degree in journalism from the University of Oklahoma before being named Assistant Sports Information Director for the Sooners. It was during college that Hancock married his high school sweetheart, the former Nikki Perry. They became the proud parents of two sons, Will and Nate. Father and sons treasured their time together, from backpacking the Grand Canyon to participating in community theater productions and cheering on their favorite sports teams. Tragedy struck when Will, as media relations coordinator at Oklahoma State University, was on the plane that crashed and took the lives of eight cowboys and two pilots in 2001. An avid marathon runner and bicyclist, Hancock spent 36 days later that year bicycling from Huntington Beach, California, through his cherished hometown of Hobart, to Tybee Island, Georgia. Resulting from the journey was his first book, Riding with the Blue Moth released in 2005 and reissued this year. It is his story of overcoming grief and self-reflection, and he continues to share his story and his time with others who have experienced the same. After leaving OU, Hancock operated the family newspaper along with his brother Joe and was assistant commissioner for the Big Eight Conference before being named the first director of the NCAA Final Four, the first director of the Bowl Championship Series, and then the first executive director of the college football playoff. He also has served on the United States Olympic Committee staff at 11 Olympic Games and two Pan American Games. Hancock became the voice of reason in working with reporters, university presidents, athletic directors, sports announcers, and politicians as each weighed in on the process that decides the national champion. In 2012, the college football playoff was born. The format of this playoff is very simple. The best four teams, two semifinals and bowl games, and the championship game at an iconic stadium around the country. The committee will choose the best four teams, period. When teams look equal, there are four broad criteria that they will use. Strength of schedule, head-to-head -head results, results against common opponents, and whether the team won the conference championship. We feel like this gives us the best of both worlds. It preserves the regular season, and ours is the best in sports. You know, the identity of college football is Saturdays. Saturdays. Not some end of season giant tournament, but Saturdays. And we wouldn't have it any other way. And the new playoff will allow us to keep that. We'll we will have back-to-back -back triple headers on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. This will change the paradigm of New Year's Eve in this country. When we go to our New Year's Eve parties, they better have a television set or we're not going to go period. Surrounded by family, on January 12, 2015, Hancock was the man in charge as Oregon and Ohio State met in Arlington AT&T Stadium in the first college football playoff championship game. When his schedule allows, Hancock enjoys traveling and continuing his involvement with his alma mater, recently attending the anniversary celebration of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. With his sweetheart Nikki and their three grandchildren, Jack, William, and Andrea, it is the time spent 